Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and today is an exciting day because we are talking about Pixel Experience that is based on Android 12. Yes, we have an unofficial version of Pixel Experience based on Android 12. I've been using it since yesterday and we're going to have a quick look at it. Before we get into the further details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going Alright, so let's see what we have here. Pixel Experience, an official Android 12 updated on the 21st of October 2021. Now you have download screenshots, donated support, and our device change log says color rendering fixes, yellow tint fixed, correction of color settings in display settings. Safety net CTS now passes out of the box. That is really good. See full change log here, but it is in Russian. Suggested firmware is 12.5.2 global. SE Linux is enforcing. Safety net passes out of the box and ships with G apps now that for a very very first android 12 based rom for pixel experience is really really good because most of the things mind you are working absolutely fine over here so let's quickly go to settings here first and let's go to about phone and let's go to the android version now, as you can see over here this is android version 12 with your typical android 12 easter egg over here there you go if you go back you do have the october security patch and they are using the perf kernel so that's all that is there in settings but that is not everything that we're going to talk about today so we have pixel experience a couple of days back we put out a video for the k20 pro and the official pixel experience android 11 they are, how they are moving to android 12 as well now, and today what we see over here is the poco x3 pro getting pixel experience now the moment you boot into this particular rom you will get a very very familiar feeling of pixel experience as you can see you have the android 12 quick tiles over here you have your edit menu in which you do have another options like mic access camera access location access you can go ahead and enable or disable that you have extra dim you do have dark theme and stuff like that so you can go ahead and enable or disable those features now apart from this in the center you have the power menu and over here you have the shortcut for settings that's about it and if you press and hold over here, you have home settings, widgets, and wallpaper style. Now just see how this Monet UI is following the theme of the wallpaper even in this pop-up menu, which is really, really neat. So if you go to home settings over here, you get your usual Pixel Experience launcher, although this time it is running on Android 12. And moving on, you have widgets over here, as you can see. You have your Android S Easter egg over here and the Android 12 widgets are organized in a very, very smooth and very, very sophisticated way, right? Now, apart from this, if you have a look, you have wallpaper and style where you can go ahead and change the theme of the colors that you get from Monet. That is something really neat and it actually changes real time. So if you actually go to wallpaper and you have curated culture as always, say, let's go to purple home and lock screen and you know with the full version of android 12 it has become even better for example if i try to choose a wallpaper of another color for that matter the moment we go into the preview the whole ui changes color and that is really really smooth really really neat and it works like a charm so nothing to worry there at all right now the moment you boot into this rom you do have a very very basic camera application and the smoothness on this rom although the first build although the initial build is just next level just have a look how smooth this is and remember this is the poco x3 pro we are not talking about the mi 11x which has a snapdragon 870 although the snapdragon 860 is a very very powerful processor as well so yes the smoothness is amazing and it works like a charm all the features are working so if you go to the play store and see it says device not certified so this is one of the older builds that i'm using if you use the latest one i think safety net is passing which means the play store certification should be working fine as well i've not tried amazon prime hd or you know netflix to see if wide one elbow is working and there is no mention of that as well but i can tell you this overall to use this rom as a 
a daily driver it is working really really smooth i've not encountered any issues at all because everything is almost perfectly working fine the only thing that i've not tried on this particular rom is gaming and we shall try that soon as well but apart from this if you actually go to settings the early version of pixel experience and most of the roms over here based on android 12 doesn't really have a lot of customization all the pixel experience itself doesn't have a lot of customization so you have your network and internet you have your connected devices you have your apps you have your notifications in which you have bubbles conversations and stuff like that you do have your battery now if you have a look over here you have thermal profiles which is really really neat and for example for 3d bench you can go ahead and use benchmark for gaming you can use gaming so i did not actually go ahead and see a you know a dedicated gaming mode of android 12 in any of the latest roms for this particular device so that's unfortunate but i'm pretty sure the developers are working hard and sooner or later we will have the android 12's gaming dashboard as well now apart from this as far as charging is concerned the charging works absolutely fine there are no random reboots you will not have any issues with you know random crashes or apps force closing and stuff those days are gone this boots just fine and it works just fine the sim card is working calling is working there is no issues with the calling and everything else and as i said the charging speeds are pretty decent as well now if you actually go to the multitasking menu you will see how smooth this is you have your screenshot making a comeback over here in which you can go ahead and edit the screenshot right Let's go ahead and take another screenshot over here. There you go, you can share directly from here. And the transitions are very, very cohesive. Say, if you go to select, it is working absolutely fine like a charm. And over here you have split screen, which works absolutely okay as you can see. So, you know, all the Android 12 features are present. It is working absolutely fine. I've not had any major, major issues. And this definitely is great news for most of you out there who are planning to use Android 12 or Pixel Experience. So if you go to system, you do have language and input, but the important part is gestures. And in gestures, you have very few options. You don't really have a lot of gestures. Although Android 12's option of rules is still there. I've not tried it, but yes, that option is present as well. Now, with that said, you know, almost everything is fine. You can definitely go ahead and flash it and give it a try. But let me give you a gist of what the benchmark numbers actually look like. So let's go to the CPU throttle test first. Now, I don't know what really happened over here. The performance is 165.094 average GIPS and the CPU throttle to 71%. But I'll tell you this, this might be a one-off issue because only in this section it had some problems. I did check, I did not receive any notifications of any sort because of which this could have happened because whenever you're running a cpu throttle test it usually does happen that you know if you get a notification it goes down and then it comes again up and stuff like that but yeah if you try it twice or thrice you will get a pretty decent score moving on if we actually look at geekbench real quick 765 single core 2526 multi core now this score is not the highest it is sort of low but understand this is an unofficial version this is the initial build of pixel experience and android 12 is still relatively new so there are no optimizations that have been done yet now let's move to our dear old friend anto to benchmark over here 551 624 is the score now again this is sort of low not really really high and uh, usually you get 570 580 stuff like that on the poco x3 pro but you know benchmarks are not something to go by i'll tell you this i did say it in yesterday's video as well that most of the time you will be interacting with the user interface that is what should matter for you the battery life the charging is what should matter for you and these things on this unofficial rom are very very rock solid and i'm not sure if i'll do a gaming review or not but i'll definitely give it a try if i get a chance to do so let me know in the comment section what do you think about Pixel Experience based on Android 12 for the Poco X3 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.